Mary Fossum was, of course, in attendance at Forest Acres West to watch the tournament named for her. With perfect conditions, the teams had nothing to complain about in the weather department, and they got to enjoy it for a little bit longer, too, in a round that stretched past the five and a half hour mark with lengthy delays for slow play and congestion. The starting five for the Spartans were remarkably consistent. Three players turned in a three over 75 for the final round, with junior Alyssa Farrell and sophomore Trisha Weatherby ending up in a tie for 12th in the tournament. Junior Christine Meyer carded a one over 73 to help her finish in the top 10 for the fourth time in her career. That matched the round score of the only senior on the roster. Caroline Powers played her final home 18 holes at one over, finishing as the individual runner up for the weekend in her swan song. I didn't even think about it. I might get misty now though. Um, no, it was great. It was a fun day, um, kind of a disappointing finish, but um, it was tough out there today, so made the best of it. The Spartans posted the best team score to the final round, but it wasn't enough to catch their old nemesis, Purdue. The Boilermakers tied the 54-hole record for the Fossum tournament, and they took home the team title. Obviously, we're not too happy that we got beat by Purdue, but it's the first tournament of the year. We've got a great mix of kids on our team. We did a lot of wonderful things and, and have some good things to work on for the next couple of weeks for our upcoming tournaments. 